Hey guys, we are building out the back of our tub to make it more sufficient whilst touring. Yep, so as you know, we have a camper trailer and when we go on day trips, we always end up carrying an esky and some other gear and it sort of never has a place. So we thought we would set up our tub so that when we go on day trips or just trips with the swag, we are more self-sufficient. Let's go back to the start of the build where we put in a pulse floor. For this part of the build, we used a sheet of 18mm marine ply some marine carpet, some anti-fire retardant resin, contact glue for the marine carpet, basic tools like a knife. We also had a jigsaw, a circular saw and a grinder to shape the wood. And then the parts we used were a Dunham Watson bridge slide up to 75 litres, a king straw, just single, 900 long, and a lot of staples with a staple gun. Hey guys, I just opened up the new frame, new circular saw. I'm gonna cut this line here with the circular saw. <coughs> and also this one here. And then when I get to the edge, I'm gonna use a jigsaw for that little bit there. This bit here should line up. It's 15 mil up from the mat that was in there over there i'm using that as a template so all systems go in the tray build hey guys so i've made the left hand side it's the other way around but i got the wrong grinding dish so i'm going to get the right one and it's pretty late at night so i don't want to make too much noise i'm just going to put a chamfer on all that chamfer around there and a chamfer all the way around to there and maybe across the front uh, tomorrow and then I'm gonna make the other side then seal it that's really helped a lot with the measuring and all that sort of stuff next stop we took off to the shed where Astro could nap no where we continued making the floor we realized that we had to cut out a little bit in order to fit the drawer which you see on your screen and also the fridge light which you can also now see on your screen. Hey guys, we just cut out the bottom floor. We're going to put a full flop bolt floor through the whole tray. We'll be cutting out the section of the fridge slide so that the fridge would fit with our tournay hoops on as well. So we can fit the tournay to the wood factory and the slide and the fridge will slide in and out. Um, so yeah, we'll just put that out there and then we've got to put this side back up and that's what we're up to. It looks pretty good, I reckon. Okay, so now we have just made this little insert which actually goes on this side here. That is where the fridge is going to go. Now we're just making this little strip and this as one, which is where our drawer is going to go. coated the infill piece yes last night and then we chopped it up on these chains so both sides resin coated that's the other in infill piece for the left hand side we've coated that now we're just going to take some bags up here and then we're going to carpet it and secure it into the trailer with some silicon and coach bolts and that's what we're going to do today and oh and we're going to put in the fridge slide in the drawer
so we just got rid of all of the little air bubbles and cleaned it up a little bit and we're about to put some carpet on. obviously will open up like that all under the tornado still as you can see and then if you look inside here we have heaps of storage for here and then there's also a divider here so we can put recovery gear dog bowls anything like that up the front and then that will hinge with a latch here um, so that's pretty much just right inside is all storage and we can still fit stuff across here and in the front so on the left hand side of the tub, as you can see, we've got our King's 300 litre per minute um, thumper. So yeah, it's a cheap pump, but it's what we got at the moment. It's pretty good, really. We had no problems going around Australia. We're going to um, secure this to the side of the fridge here at the bottom, um, build the end in and put a tap fitting and an air fitting. So when we air up, we just have the point, a couple of switches and another switch with some LED lighting throughout the tub so we can see. Um, and then obviously this bit here will be built in at the end and built in at the end There'll be a false floor through on top of the air pump and there'll be a water pump down here on top of that too Just with a little pull out in the vent and then the top will be open because it butts up to the tornay So we can just open this side of the tornay and that will be more storage in the top Check back next week for part two where we build the left hand side of the tub Finish off the right and add some finishing touches to the build.